Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a neon tube title animation in VSGC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a neon tube title animation in VSGC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to do this, first you need to add a line on top of the screen. So, go to Add Object select line and then click on ok now mark your line on top of the screen like this and look inside the line object settings which is present inside the properties window and inside the color option currently white is selected so you need to write these values 255 semicolon 160 semicolon 255 and then press enter now right below the color option you will find this thickness option where currently the value is 1. So increase the value inside the thickness option from 1 to 15 and then press enter. Now look inside the coordinates section and inside x1 currently the value is 476. So you need to write 308. 0.500 and then press enter inside y1 currently the value is 476 so you need to write 540 and then press enter inside x2 currently the value is 1057.000 so you need to write 1607 500 and then press enter and inside y2 currently the value is 476.000 so you need to write 540 once again and then press enter perfect now currently the duration of this line object is 10 seconds and i would like to reduce it to 5 seconds so inside the duration option write 05.000 and then press enter now double click on the line object and go to video effects go to nature select shadow and then click on ok now look inside the shadow effect settings which is present inside the properties window inside long shadow currently false is selected so that's fine inside light angle currently the value is 45 degree so change this from 45 to 0 inside shadow distance currently the value is 10 pixel so change this from 10 to 0 inside shadow color currently black is selected so you need to write these values so you need to write 186 semicolon 17 semicolon 48 and then press enter inside shadow max size currently 10 pixels is there so change this from 10 to 50 and then press enter and inside intensity currently the value is 0 so change this from 0 to 255 and then press enter perfect next what you need to do is you need to add a gaussian blur so go to video effects go to filters select gaussian blur and then click on ok now place the gaussian blur below the shadow effect like this and look inside the gaussian blur effect settings which is present inside the properties window and you will find this blur levels option where currently the value is 4 so increase this value from 4 to 10 and then press enter perfect next what you need to do is you need to add a movement object so what we will do is we will move this line from this particular position to this particular position below and to move it we will make use of the movement object so go to add object go to movement select movement and then click on ok now move the line below like this 
and the end point is currently placed at five seconds as you can see right here so move the end point from five seconds to one second and as you can see inside the time option 01.000 is there so i've properly placed the end point at one second now click on this end point and you will find this coordinates section right here inside x1 currently 957.000 is there so you need to write 960 point 500 and then press enter and inside y1 currently 886 is there so you need to write 772 and then press enter perfect and so now if i just quickly play the video for you perfect next what we will do is we will create a duplicate line object so click on this line object press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now click on this second line object and look inside the line object settings inside the color option currently 255 semicolon 160 semicolon 255 is there so you need to delete these values and you need to write 191 semicolon 255 semicolon 255 and then press enter perfect now double click on the second line object which is present at the top and click on the shadow effect and look inside the shadow effect settings inside shadow color currently the values are 186 semicolon 17 semicolon 48 so you need to delete these values and you need to write 21 semicolon 92 semicolon 196 and then press enter perfect and inside the movement object click on this particular endpoint which is present at one second and look inside the coordinates section inside x1 currently the value is 960.500 so delete this value and write 960 point 500 so it was no change this value was the same uh, inside y1 currently the value is 772 so delete this value and write 333 and then press enter and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start perfect perfect so next what we will do is we will write some text on top of the screen so go to add object go to text click on text and then click on ok now mark your text object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option which is set the same size as the parent has now let's write some text inside the text box so let me just write let's say neon tubes and let me just center align this text by going to paragraph and selecting center and once again going to paragraph and then selecting center align let me just change the font to let's say arial black and let me just increase the text size to somewhere around let's say 100 pixels or maybe a little more 120 pixels perfect now double click on the text object go to video effects go to transitions select wipe and then click on ok now place the wipe transition at the beginning like this and decrease its duration to 500 milliseconds so inside the duration option 
you need to write 00 0.500 and then press enter now look inside the wipe settings inside type currently door is selected so that's fine inside mode currently vertical in is selected so change this from vertical in to horizontal in inside directly currently false is selected so change this from false to true inside gradient length currently the value is 50 percent so change this from 50 to 0 and then press enter perfect and so now if i just quickly play the video for you from the start perfect one final thing which we will do is we will add fade in effect inside both our line objects so double click on the first line object which is present at the bottom and go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok now click on this fade in effect press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v two times now place the second fade in effect after the first fade in effect and place the third fade in effect after the second fade in effect like this. Now click on the first fade in effect and inside the duration option you need to write 00 0.100 and then press enter and click on the second fade in effect inside the duration option once again you need to write 00 0.100 and then press enter and inside the time option of the second fade in effect you need to write 00 0.266 and then press enter and now click on this third fade in effect and inside the duration option once again write 00 0.100 and then press enter and inside the time option you need to write 00 0.500 and then press enter perfect and so now if I just quickly play the video for you perfect now do one thing copy all these three fade in effects select all these three fade in effects press ctrl C to copy them go back to the main editing timeline double click on the second line object place the cursor at the beginning like this and press ctrl V to paste duplicate fade in effects like this perfect and so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start perfect so this is how you can create a neon tube title animation in VSCC free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel I will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching